But what I'm going to be doing is comparing the supermarkets in the US and the UK. I'm well aware that this is my first time in a US supermarket, so I'm going to try my best to not be biased. I've got a list of categories and they're a little bit random. And in the end, I'm going to pick which country is the winner. I swear, there's literally six aisles of toys in Target. Like, I've never seen this many toys in my entire life. And there's freaking Frozen everything. This is a Frozen bicycle. A Frozen basket for your bicycle. Frozen. I don't know what this is, but Frozen. Frozen. <laughs> frozen snowman. Hello? This is basically the toy section at Tesco. I'm not even joking, it's not six aisles, it's this. Just for a small comparison, this is about the only Frozen thing I can see. It's kind of sad that I can find Nerf darts, but I can't find a Nerf gun. The minion craze is past the Atlantic Ocean. Time to abort this country. We've got One Direction, of course, representing the country. In the UK, they've still got Teletubbies. I'm obsessed and I'm taking them with me. That's so creepy, listen to it. Again, again. That's literally what they would say before they merge. The winner for the toy section is obviously the US because they had so much more stuff. It was actually so much more fun to explore. I didn't know Halloween cards were a thing, but there's just so many here that I can't help it. This giant thing that I can't fit in the frame costs $30. I'll take it. And they didn't want to discriminate against all body types. Oh my god, there's Paul's skeleton for $40! My best friend is coming with me. Oh, never mind. These are so cute! I'm gonna adopt him. Oh my god. <gasps> this is just so much. Basically, the Halloween section here is this much. You have to understand that we don't celebrate Halloween like typically here, so I feel like maybe this should have a different purpose rather than Halloween, but I like it. This is as far as it goes for Halloween costumes here. What the hell is this? I don't like this. The obvious winner for the Halloween category is the United States because you guys had so much more stuff. Congratulations to the US. I have never seen this much candy in my entire life. 315 pieces. Candy corn Oreos and Halloween Oreos, which I have no idea what the Halloween flavor is. This weighs more than me. So much candy corn, which we don't have in the UK, by the way. Can I stay here? They've actually got Kinder eggs. They've got like so much stuff from Kinder. I think these are mini chocolate bars. I want them. This is expected, but a little bit disappointing. But the only kind of Oreos I could find is normal Oreos. I didn't find a single bit of white chocolate in the US. So this is a good point. We've got extra cream. We've got mint and salt, sea salt. This is a chocolate bar from Cadbury with popping candy, marshmallows and gummies all in one. This is everything I've always wanted. And this might be controversial, but I'm gonna give it to the UK, just because, I mean. Let's go and see what kind of drinks they have in the US. Grape flavored Fanta, pineapple flavored Fanta, orange flavored, oh wait, oh, never mind. We got that. This is the size of it, guys. There's so many different Starbucks drinks. I'm just gonna take a couple with me. Now we're gonna explore the snack section. Cheetos are amazing and they're illegal in the UK. They're not illegal, but we don't have them. What the hell is a pretzel rod? There's so many pretzel sizes. Pretzels and more pretzels. I'm pretty sure we invented that in Europe. Do I eat it or do I feed it to my dog? The world may never know. This is the greatest invention so far. You can get all flavors of crisps from like different brands, all in one. Pickled flavored Pringles, beautiful. This one stands out to me because I've never seen this before. It's got 32 flavors. There is a ridiculous amount of sparkling water flavors. We're talking white grape, red grape, and this is my personal favorite, 
rosé flavored sparkling water. So if you're in the US and you wanna get a bag of chips, the flavors usually go from, you know, cheese, onion flavor. If you're in the UK, it's hilarious. The flavors are so oddly specific. Chorizo, feta cheese, and olive. Hand-cooked Cornish sea salt and West countryside cider vinegar. Roasted chicken in thyme. And last, and definitely most weirdly, pigs in a blanket. Basically, given the amount of crazy varieties the UK has, I'm sorry US, but the winner of the snacks is the UK. This is a very serious part of the video, which is I'm gonna find out who has the best, nicest frozen pizza. I eat frozen pizza a lot, so I take these very personally. Literally, everything has got pepperoni. Pepperoni, more pepperoni. If you like vegetables, chicken, anything else, maybe not the place for you. I've never seen this before, but this is truly beautiful. It's a pizza roll. What the hell are bagel bites? And how do I make it my religion? This is a pizza toasty. We've also got the classic pepperoni here. Then it starts to get a little bit creative. We've also got chicken pizza. It's got vegetables in it as well, which I didn't find in the US. So I'm gonna give this one to the UK. Classic cookie crisp. I respect you. I used to have you when I was four. French toast crunch. Don't know what that is. I know what French toast is. It's delicious. I'll take it. My childhood favorites, corn pops. So many flavors of pop tarts. There's pumpkin pie, there's pumpkin pie. There's pumpkin pie flavor. What the hell is Fruity Pebbles? And why does it look so delicious? There's ice cream flavored cereal. I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure this is Captain Crunch. I've only seen it in movies, but it looks even more delicious in person. Every time I try shreddies, it seems like a good idea, and then it tastes like nothing. <sighs> This is quite difficult to find something nice. These are Choco Pops. They've got chocolate in them. It's not quite the same as having marshmallow and crazy colors, but you know. These are actually really good. Can we talk about how creepy the Honey Puff Monster looks? There you go. These might seem a little bit boring, but Crunchy Nut are actually amazing. You can buy a lot of different cereals here, um, all in one. There's not enough variety for the UK to win, so I'm gonna give this one to the US because your cereal are crazy, but amazingly delicious. Looking at all the categories on my phone, it was three wins for the US and three wins for the UK, which makes this video a tie. Please don't be upset at me if I said anything not so nice about something that you really feel strongly about. Um, obviously, take these videos very lightly with some humor. If you guys want me to do this more often, don't forget to give it a like, and maybe I should compare maybe a dollar store with a pound store. Let me know in the comment sections what kind of things you want me to compare from the two countries, maybe food, and I'll probably do that if you guys enjoy these type of videos.